slot and Richard will take the Richard Deputy by Bart will take the rest. Uh, Minister, I asked you earlier on to comment on the statement by the Academy of Clinical Science and Laboratory Medicine on cervical screening. And the statement for any screening programme to be successful, it must have the trust and confidence of the public. To ensure that this confidence is maintained, the results of the audit of 2014 must be published. Will you comment on that, please? Um, and I want to further um, tease out the question of the, uh, the way the screening is done, because I think it's important. Um, they also ask, and I'm asking the same question, were all the false negative screens performed in the same laboratory? So the Taoiseach told us this morning there's three laboratories involved. He said the Coombe and two in the States. That's what he said. Um, however, MedLab Pathology in Sandyford, who are a sister company of CPL in Texas, the firm that uh, Vicky Phelan sued, are given 50% of the samples by cervical check. Now, when I went for my smear about three weeks ago, the doctor was emphatic that this is going to the US. So how do you decide what goes to Sandyford and what goes to the US or goes to the Coombe and goes to the US or where does it go? And can you please tell me when they say that MedLab Pathology deals with 50% of the samples, what does deal with mean? Does it mean they actually screen them, that they do the tests on them or do they just somehow package them off and send them to Texas or to America, whichever company uh, Quest, Diagnostic, Quest Diagnostics that you're using in America? how they decide that section of the 15%. And in addition to that, are you concerned that MedLab uh, Pathology in uh, Sandyford is the sole laboratory, the sole laboratory dealing with the bowel screening programme? Are you concerned about that? Because I think many of us should be or could be, given the connection that they have to CPL in Texas. Um, I don't know if I have any time left to ask another one. Yeah, yeah it's a quick one. Uh, asked this morning on Sean O'Rourke about his dismissal of the concerns of Dr David Gibbons. The HSE boss, Tony O'Brien, said that he didn't dismiss his concerns, that those concerns were actually taken up in the contract before it was awarded to uh, Qu uh, the Quest Laboratories in the US back in the day. Now, are you happy that that is the case? Because I know we're not going to see the contract, sensitivity, commercial secrecy, blah, blah, blah. Even if I asked for it, I'm never going to see it. But why then did he allow several renowned scientists and David Gibbons resign as a result of him ignoring them and then tell us that he wrote it into the contract before he awarded it? Minister for Health. And I don't have some of the answers, nor would I be expected to, to some of the questions that you've asked Deputy Smith, particularly in relation to the awarding of a contract in 2008. Uh, by the, the HSE or the screening programmes. In relation to that, there are obviously other witnesses going before the Oireachtas Health Committee tomorrow uh, who will be much more um, versed in that than I would be or should be or would be expected to be. I do have to just clarify an issue because I've heard on a number of occasions in recent days will I publish the 2014 audit report and that suggests that people think there is a report sitting somewhere that needs to be published. My understanding and what I am informed caveat to that, what I am informed is that the 2014 audit, or indeed any of the audits, refer to <coughs> audits of individual women's um, smear tests as opposed to an audit report. So I certainly don't have within my possession, nor does my department, any audit report or document that could or should be published. Do you have the results of the audit? No, I don't have the results of, I don't have the results of individual women body as renowned as this one be asking for it? Well, I'm, look, I can't get into an exchange on press statements on the floor of the doll, but what I can tell you is this. These are, indivi uh, these are individual women's smear tests, um, and individual women have a right to know what's in them. And what I have spent the last number of days since this came to light is making sure that individual women know, as they should have known, and it's worrying that the paternalistic culture suggested that they weren't told in many ways, even when it was communicated to their treating clinician. Um, but I don't have them. They're individual, nor should I, by the way. They're individual women's uh, smear tests and how they were reviewed. Um, I do just uh, I can come back in. Sorry, I won't use your time. Right back. On Deputy Smith's question, you see, you weren't around in 2008, but you have direct responsibility for whether the concerns that were flagged uh, by David Gibbons and by Sam Coulter-Smith and other scientists who went as far as resigning from the Quality Assurance Committee over this issue. That's not insignificant. They resigned. They were so concerned about the inferiority of the uh, testing regime that would uh, result from outsourcing it to the United States, okay? And they had 
evidence to back that up, that the uh, number of uh, missed uh, positives uh, would be significantly higher with the outsourcing. Now, can you tell us that they were wrong? Because that matters not just about the two, two, 208 people, it matters about every single person who has been screened and who will be screened. Somebody asked me to specifically ask you, for example, with the retests that you're now promising to anybody who wants one, who will do the tests? Will the tests be inferior? If what David Gibbons and Sam Cooter Smith, who's still saying it, he's saying it as we speak, he's saying that the uh, problems that have emerged were inevitably going to emerge uh, because of the difference and the mismatch uh, between uh, standards here and the uh, standards of the United States. Can you, so can you assure people that they were wrong? Uh, and the academy that was mentioned, the Academy of Clinical Science and Laboratory Medicine, are saying the whole thing should be repatriated now. Do you agree with them? Should it be repatriated? We're not saying anybody's wrong, because <coughs> Deputy Boyd Baird, we have, to, we have to look at all of these issues as part of the inquiry, as part of an investigation. There were clearly concerns raised by eminent people, and they're very eminent and they're far more qualified to speak on this than I am, including people like Dr. Coulter Smith. There were also other views raised by other people, and there was a process and a robust debate, and if you read back at the time of political debate in 2008, a very robust public debate and a decision was made. But we do have to be careful in raising the concerns that you're not casting doubt over the success of the programme which has saved lives in Ireland of, of Irish women. We have seen over 50,000 pre-cancer cells detected as a result of this programme. We've seen three million smears take place. We've seen the mortality rate from cervical cancer decline in this country. Yeah, no, but it's important because, well, you agree with that bit, and I, I, don't, mean this, I don't mean to be antagonistic on it, but you agree with it, but yet you're saying, actually, the labs that they're being sent to are inferior. So th th there is a